Hi guys, uh, this is your instructor Asma Mushtaq. So in the previous part, I had explained how the 4-bit adder subtractor circuit works and I just left the explanation of this part uh, and this part or the role of the carry flag or the V flag. First of all, you need to understand what is the role of the carry flag. The carry flag is used for the addition or the subtraction of the unsigned numbers representation and the V flag is used for determining the overflow of the signed addition and subtraction. So basically this is associated with the unsigned numbers and it is associated with the signed numbers. Fine. Now let's consider the previous case and let's have a look how these two things work. Okay, starting from the previous example where we had performed the subtraction of A is equal to 1001 and B is equal to 0111. Uh, let's first see how we can determine the range of the signed or unsigned numbers in case of the 4 bits. Okay, so let's say if n is equal to 4 and we can determine the range of the unsigned number as 2 raised to power n which is equal to 2 raised to power 4 in this case. Okay, and this comes out to be 16. Since we always start from 0, so we will have the range from 0 to 15. Fine. And in case of the signed numbers representation, the range is determined by dividing 2 raised to power 4 by 2. So 16 is divided by 2. You will get it's equal to 8. Then as we assume 0 is a positive number, so range will be from minus 8 to plus 7. So this is the range of a signed numbers for 4 bits and this is the range for the unsigned numbers fine now considering the scenario when we had assumed a is equal to 1001 and b is equal to 0111 for the unsigned interpretation we will say a is equal to 9 and b is equal to 7 and since we perform the operation a minus b which resulted in 2 okay in that case now let's have a look of how this c bit actually works when we consider a and b both as unsigned numbers fine as we perform the subtraction of a minus b we got the carry flag is equal to 1 so whenever we are performing this addition or subtraction of unsigned numbers and we get carry flag is equal to 1, it means there is certain carry out while the addition or a borrow during subtraction so let's just verify it when you will perform the bitwise subtraction of these two numbers you can see 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 then you will have to take a borrow from this bit so you will get 2 over here 1 over here and it will be 0 and once you will perform this subtraction, you will get 2 minus 1 is equal to 1, 1 minus 1, 0 and then 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. Okay. So, performing this while performing this subtraction, we took the borrow. That's why we got a carry flag is equal to 1 in this case. Fine. Now, let's have a look why we got this V is equal to one this actually represents the signed overflow okay so for the signed interpretation a is equal to one zero zero one and b is equal to 
0 1 1 and 1 we know that we identify the signed numbers from their msbs so if msb is equal to 1 then number is negative and if msb is equal to 0 then a positive number is stored let's have a look what a represents in the negative terms since its msb is equal to 1 let's try to decode it which negative number it is representing fine we can do this by taking the two's complement of it 1001 0, 0, 1. so two's complement is taken this way lsb is subtracted if it is not equal to 0 from the 2 and the rest of the bits are subtracted from 1 2 minus 1 1 then 1 1 and 0 which represents in decimal as 7 and now we will append the negative sign since we took the 2's complement of it fine and now let's see what b is representing since b has msb is equal to 0 that's why it's not a negative number stored and we can directly say that this is equal to 7 in the decimal now we perform the operation a minus b which is actually equal to minus 7 minus plus 7 which is equal to again minus 14 since we are interested why v is equal to 1 is displayed which is actually showing the signed overflow if you notice you got the resultant of 0 0 1 0 and if you combine the fifth term you had the carry flag is equal to 1 let's try to find what is it is actually representing if you consider the resultant of four bits fine you can see you perform the operation of minus a minus b it should have been minus 14 but you can see the resultant came out to be equal to 2 which is actually a wrong result so while considering the signed interpretation the resultant came out to be 2 when you consider the 4 bits now if you combine the 5 bits fine then you can see your resultant will be correct and since msb again is equal to 1 i will take the 2's complement to decode this what is it is stored so 0 2 minus 1 1 1 1 and then 0 in this case you can simply see its decimal equivalent is 14 and since i took the 2's complement so that's why it's equal to negative so when you consider the result of only 4 bits you actually get the resultant is equal to 2 which is wrong in case of the signed interpretation that's why overflow flag is equal to 1 indicating there is a signed overflow fine and other way to detect the signed overflow immediately is to look if there is a carry if there is no carry in but a carry out as in this case there is no carry in but a carry out then there is a signed overflow if there is a carry in but no carry out then again the signed overflow occurs when there is a carry in and a carry out means carry in and carry out both are equal then no signed overflow occurs and in this way this carry flag and the overflow flag helps to determine the overflow occurring in the address subtractor circuits. Thank you for watching.